What's poppin' everyone? This is SaberWolf94. Gonna do a deck profile today of a deck that I really like, once again. Uh, it involves lightning again, and it's gonna focus around an ability once again. Uh, this is for standard format. I use this a lot. And the deck, I like to call it Rhizone or Rhizone. And it involves around uh, the ability of Magnezone, Magnetic Circuit, and a bunch of lightning attackers, uh, mainly Raikou. And you'll see why. So this isn't something we haven't seen before. This is modeled after the Rain Dance ability of the, the original Blastoise uh, from many, many, many years ago, all the way back to base set. And uh, this is quite similar. Magnetic Circuit does the same, but with lightning energies. And uh, you don't have to you limit yourself to only lightning type Pokemon. You can attach it to whatever you like. So you get to take advantage of many different Pokemon. If you use Expanded, you can also use uh, the Rayquaza that uh, we use with Electric to put Lightning Energy on it, for example. But since this is standard, uh, we don't have that guy, sadly. So we're going to have to focus on different types of attackers. So what you do is you evolve your magnet Magnemites to this guy and you get to attach as many lightning energy as you want per turn. Okay, so let's look at some support Pokemon first though. Uh, the attackers are quite obvious which ones are going to be. So I run one to Lone Flame. Uh, this is good in the beginning. Uh, if you start with this guy, uh, he has 130 HP, which is good. Fear Retreat is good. Has a useful resistance to fighting, which can come up. And Arrow Blitz is a very good support attack. Not only does it does, not only does it do solid damage for 40 for one. You get to search two cards, any cards, and put them into your hand. This is good because a deck like this uh, really revolves around setup. You set up Magnezone first, and then you attack, uh, most likely. Uh, this is why decks like this uh, like to run cards like Tropical Beach. Uh, that's a very exceptional card, but uh, people will understand what I mean is that you want to set up, you know, get your uh, Magnezone out, have your ability active, and then you get to do all your stuff. Break the rules. Uh, Mr. Mime, the one with Bench Barrier, I like running this guy in almost every deck, with a few exceptions. Uh, not, only is it, not only is it important in general to have, you know, some Bench Protection, you know, your opponent's snipes become useless, spread damage becomes useless. But also because you run little guys like Magnemite, you know, they can get picked up sometimes. Uh, this helps prevent that. And speaking of Magnemite, this is a very useful one. Uh, it's nice when your basic Pokemon for the Stage 2 Pokemon they're trying to evolve, uh, they have useful stuff too. Uh, sparkling Induction. It's a very good ability. If you start with Magnemite and you have a bunch of Magnemites, well, one more basically on the bench. He gets free retreat. He's one less retreat cost. And since he only has one, it's basically free retreat. So this is quite good. Uh, sometimes it does come up. You know, and we do run one Magneton. I used to run two, but uh, it isn't really that necessary anymore. Uh, you'd normally want more of this guy because, uh, well, in case you can't use your rare candies, because of item lock and stuff like that, you can just manually evolve to Magneton. I would still like to run two, but space is an issue, so cut it to one. Uh, I think I put the nest ball in or something, but anyway, uh, uh, 80 HP. You know, they have they have the metal resistance too, which is good. Uh, the paralyzing attack, maybe it can come up, but yeah, this is only just you know as a stage uh, to evolve. Of course, we have Magnezone. Uh, Stat-wise, this guy's very good. 140 HP is okay. Uh, not, you know, a Pokemon hit 150 and 160 HP these days, but this came out in Breakthrough, and, uh, you know, 140 HP is still good. It's got the Metal Resistance. Fury Retreat isn't very good, but uh, you can use... Um, Heavy Ball to search it this way, and that is very good. 
Uh, Thunder Blast is a decent attack. A uh, hundred for three, and then you discard one is good enough because this is mainly used uh, for its ability. But occasionally, if you do have to attack with them, you can score some two hit KOs with his attack. He's much better than Embor. Minus the 10 H, 10 less HP, having a better retreat cost, uh, slightly better, while still having the benefit of Heavy Ball. A much better attack and a resistance too. You know, overall, if you use this, if you were planning to use Rayquaza or just, uh, yeah, Rayquaza basically, you would rather use this than uh, Inferno Fandango and Boar, unless you really want to take advantage of some fire attackers. But yeah, overall, very good Pokemon. Now let's look at the attackers. Like I've said, uh, the main attacker is going to be Raikou. Now this is an all-around very good Pokemon. 120 HP is very good. Uh, resistance to metal, again, something useful to have. Only one retreat cost, very good. And it has a good body and a good attack. Shining body, it has lightning energy, 20, dam 20 less damage each time your opponent attacks you after applying weakness or resistance. So this makes this Pokemon very sturdy, especially if you put... Uh, uh, what's this name called? I always forget the card. Um, Fighting Fury Belt, yeah. You have Fighting Fury Belt, and you know, has at least one Lightning Energy. Uh, this Pokemon, it basically becomes like an EX almost, without having that drawback. And Thunder Lance, a very good attack. It's going to be like um, 110 for 3 Lightning Energy, and the more you attach, the stronger he gets. So this is why this goes perfectly with Magnezone. Uh, you know, the cards that go together, obviously go together. Um, he doesn't really have that, you know, one-shot kill thing going for him with a Rayquaza. And sometimes this sucks. Uh, normally what you're going to do is you're going to get uh, two-shot kills with this guy, normally. But it's still very good. Basic Pokemon doesn't give two prizes. Uh, another attack that I really like that's probably not that common, but I think is important, Zapdos from Lauren Skies. Now this card is going to rotate out pretty soon, I'm sure, but it's a very good card. Uh, 120 HP, good. Uh, retreat cost is alright. Uh, Would have been better since it's Zapdos to have one or three, actually, but... What's important is his weak to lightning instead of fighting, which Raikou is, and many of these Pokemon are here because they're lightning. Magnezone is weak to fighting as well, but Zapdos makes a good exception. Not only is he not weak to fighting, he actually resists it, and that is important. Sometimes when your opponent is playing a fighting deck or has fighting Pokemon, it's good to have an attacker that changes things up uh, can still take advantage of lightning, but he's um, different in the sense that he has a different weakness and also resists fighting. He's also good because he's an early attacker. If you open with this guy, we can actually attack early with him. Uh, drill Peck, 1 for 20, not the best thing, but you know, with a uh, Fighting Fury Belt, it's going to do 30. And the important thing is, is you can start doing damage quickly if you open with him. Raging Thunder, 1 for 20. Uh, it's not going to get stronger like with Raikou, but it's a consistent 120 attack. The bench damage isn't very important because we usually are going to have Mr. Mime down. And even if you do hit your guys, uh, you can heal the damage with uh, rough seas. But, you know, normally it's just a nice, you know, different type of attacker, similar to Raikou, but with a different weakness. And if you only attach 3 anyway, it does 10 more damage. So this is good. Now another attacker, another Zapdos, but a different type of Zapdos. This one is the one that's modeled after the original uh, Zapdos from, I believe, I think it was Base Set or Fossil or one of those sets. Um, this one is in Evolutions, the reprint set that, you know, uses the classic card borders and card you know, prints. Looks very good. Cool card. Um, I'm not really 100% with running this guy, but 
I kind of want to use him for Thunderbolt. Um, so he has 10 less HP, which is bad, but has a still good resistance to fighting, but doesn't have any weakness, which is good. So, you know, you don't have to worry about either lightning or fighting. Now, the first attack, Thunder, is very bad, only does 90, and you do 30 damage to yourself for 4 energy. You probably won't use this often, but it's there. And actually, it's kind of interesting, you know, Thunder is normally a stronger attack than Thunderbolt. But they put, you know, Thunderbolt for the strong attack and Thunder for the weaker attack. Pretty interesting, uh, weird, but interesting. Uh, Thunderbolt is the main uh, attraction for this card. It costs a lot, but does 170 damage. Sometimes you want to go for that big instant damage. Uh, with Fighting Fury Belt, it's 180. So you can score some KOs. And that's good. Uh, it's much more costly than Rayquaza's attack and other attackers because you have to discard all energy. And that's four lightning energy right there. So you don't want to use him as your main attacker. He's mostly as a tech card. But, you know, he's there. Uh, one thing that you can do with this deck, which, which I can't do right now because I don't have the cards, is run Electivire from Burning Shadows. Or, I guess, maybe even something like, um, what's it called, Electric? Or Electros, no, that's what it's called, Electros. Uh, I believe from the same set. Um, maybe other basic lightning attackers, there's probably a few. Uh, Raikou is still probably the best one at the moment. And he's sticking around, which is good. Okay, so these are the Pokemon. So... In order to get to our Magna Zone, like I've said, we're going to need some setup and some consistency. And the cards that allow us to do that, well, for items, we have Level Ball, Nest Ball, and Heavy Ball. So I run one of each um, uh, for their respective uses. These cards are good. Uh, heavy Ball will get you Magna Zone. Won't really get you anything else, but, you know, that one Magnezone is good enough. Level Wall gets you the small guys. Magnemite can also get Magneton. And uh, even Mr. Mime, if you want to. Nest Ball gets just about everything besides uh, Magnezone and Magneton. All basic Pokemon. Oh, and uh, Talon Flame. But this guy is only useful if you open with him. Uh, if you don't open with him, he's just a dead card. But, you know, it's no problem. It's still worth it. If you open with them. Okay, we obviously run rare candies, four of them. This is important for Magnezone. Gotta get that guy out quick. And BB Search. Oh, uh, actually, sorry, Bridget. Uh, BB Search is a much older card, but uh, very good supporter. If you have it early, uh, you can instantly get a bunch of attackers, a bunch of Ra Raikus, uh, Magnemites. You could get Mr. Mime or Zapdos if need be. Pretty good. Uh, we run our typical ends, three ends, and my three professional sycamores, and Skyla. Two Skyla. I think it's a good number. There's a lot of useful item cards you can grab with this card. You could grab a supporter if you feel you're going to need one. Uh, we have the one Lysander. You know, picking up Pokemon. Pretty good. Uh, Giovanni's Scheme. I run this card as an additional, you know, consistency supporter. But it also has that useful 20 more damage effect. Um, this is quite good because uh, a lot of the times, maybe if you use uh, a bunch of energies, Giovanni's Scheme, Fighting Fury Belt, you could score some unpredictable KOs that maybe your opponent didn't see coming. Another good card that's around now is um, Professor, uh, what's it called, um, in Alola. I don't remember his name, but yeah, the guy that gives you the starters and Sun and Moon. Oh man, I don't remember his name, but yeah. Okay, so a bunch of other items we have energy related. Have two professors' letter, 
uh, this is an important card. You can run one if you like, but I like two in these sort of decks. Grab a bunch of lightning energy is the best way to, you know, get it easily without running something like Rupombi, which is a good tech if you want to run in this deck. But two Professor's Letter I think is good enough for me. Grab those lightning energy. We also have one energy retrieval. Uh, this card, uh, you don't really discard energy. Uh, Raikou keeps it around, but it's good to have, you know, to get back. Maybe you're going to lose a lot with Zapdos, and you probably need a few back. Uh, Super Rot does the same, but it also recycles Pokemon too. All around good card to run in a deck. I usually run one. You know, you can get a bunch of your attackers back. Maybe get a Magnezone if need be. And Energies too. Uh, other consistency cards, one Trainer's Mail, I run this card, and VS Seekers too. Uh, depending on your preferences, uh, you could run more of these, more of these, or less. It really depends. Uh, for switching cards, we have one Switch. Uh, all around useful card to have, especially because Magnezone has a lot of retreat costs. Sometimes it can get stuck. Sometimes you don't want to discard energy. And one float stone does the same thing, but is a tool. You know, they both have their usefulness, and uh, you know, they they have uh, different things that you know go against them. Uh, float stone, uh, you can't use this obviously if you have another tool. Uh, this you can, or. If a Pokemon can retreat, like with an effect, you can't use Floatstone, but you can use Switch. But obviously, Floatstone, you can use this multiple times as long as the Pokemon isn't knocked out. And I think the only cards left are the Stadiums and Fighting Fury Belt. This is a broken card, obviously. Again, um, using this with something like Raikou, a basic Pokemon. 10 more damage and 40 more HP, very good. And then Rough Seas, uh, pretty much all Pokemon, all attackers in this deck are wa are Lightning, so you can get some useful healing. Uh, this also helps if you have to use a Raging Thunder, but you can't use uh, your Mr. Mime's ability. And we'd run 13 Lightning Energy, I think that's a good number, maybe you can do less if you want to. And that's basically the deck, pretty much. Uh, you just use Magnezone, get Magnezone out, and power up Raikou attacking. Like I said, you can use different types of attackers, you can use different types of techs. Uh, Magnezone, uh, uh, these NJJ such a special command you can use these sort of attackers to power up sorts of different types of Pokemon. Even stuff that new, new, <laughs> really, really mad, and I'm just using an example. And that, that deck, yeah, I'm going to show, show games, games probably, this is a guy I to use, use that under these So, this the model, model, so they can change things, things the way you see fit. You have to make major gestures or you have to take that deck. Uh, one important thing to think about is that they don't have a map. I think they call them. It's not a little squirt squirt or a mini phone on it. The new I I that moves schools will stay games. Got rid of some sun and pump shaker. This is important because it's in by a little bit of this. It's a magazine. If you use magazine to be a tower source, this is up. So, so, gar 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 Probably get get maybe uh, fighting fighting that that maybe be an intro or maybe make it get get zap zap to get. Uh, I really have pass, but bad bad hard hard import import tech. I I wouldn't say that if I had it and need to. But anyway, guys, I like like that pretty pretty obvious. Yes, 